Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to Shito's coaching program, mathematics coaching program. So, by the special grace of God, today we are going to look at exponential equation leading to quadratic equation. So, this is quite different from the one we did earlier from the video we draw before. Now today we'll be talking about the exponential equation that leads to quadratic equation. So before we waste much of our time, so I want us to, to solve one example together. So let's say we are given a question like solve theory to power 2x plus 1 plus 3 to power x plus 2 equals to 12. Let's say we are given this to solve. 3 to power 2x plus 1 plus 3 to power x plus 2 equals what? Equals 12. So now, before we do anything, so we can see uh, we can see now that the equation given to us is exactly what we mean by exponential equation. So if you are look at it very well, you see that our variable there is at what is at the position of exponents. So by saying that, so we say this equation is what is an exponential equation. So now we are going to apply the rule of indices here. So I will advise you to at least do the revision on rule of indices. So now, here, yeah. from the first and the second terms of this equation, so we we'll try to rely this by the rules of indices. That is, the first term here can be written as 3 to the power 2x multiplied by 3 to the power 1. And also, this one also can be written as 3 to the power x times 3 to the power 2 equals to 12. So here, we don't think, we don't, I don't think we have problem here because from the law of indices, from the multiplication law of indices, if you have a raised to the power x plus y, is same thing as a to the power x multiplied by a to the power y. So now, is the idea of this multiplication of law we adopt here so that we can separate this into two equal parts like this? So now, if you want to go further, also, this one we can write it as x raised to power 2 multiplied by 3 plus 3 to power x multiplied by 9 equals to 12. By doing that, you can see that we have from the first and the second terms of this equation, you can see that we have something that is common to the both terms. So we can see that we have 3 to power x there, 3 to power x there. So we now let that 3 to power x be, let 3 to power x be equals to another variable, which is y. Which means anywhere you see y from this equation above, you replace it with what? With y. Therefore, this equation turns to y squared multiplied by 3, this 3, plus 9, multiplied by what? Multiplied by y equals to 12. You can see that we have 3y squared plus 9y. This one, if it comes to the left hand side, we change the sign to negative. So we have minus 12 equals to 0. So by saying this, we can see 
that this equation has turned to quadratic equation in terms of what? In terms of y. Which means our variable has now changed from x to y. Therefore, we are going to solve this equation in terms of y. We look for the value of y. The two possible values of y here. So now, by doing that, what are we going to do? From there, so this equation, let's call this one equation 2. So now this equation, we are now going to, to divide through, that's in, to reduce this equation 2 towards to simplest form, that is by dividing through by 12. So here if z3, y square over 3, over 3 here, over 3, over 3, which means the equation 2 will become y square plus 3y minus Four equals to zero. So we have equation three now. So from here, we now use the simplest method. You know, the simplest method we use while solving quadratic equation. And the simplest method here is what? Is factorization method. So we're going to look for the two possible factors of minus four. Minus four. Why? Why? Looking for the the sum of what of this middle term, which is three y. So if you want to look at that, so we have y square plus four y minus y, which certainly give us what plus three y and minus four y times minus y or minus four times minus y will give us what we give us four equals to what equals to minus four equals to zero so from there we are going to group this into two like this so we look for the common factor here the common factor here is what is y y plus four minus what is the common factor here minus one we bring it out y plus four equals to zero can you see that so from here we can see that we have something that is common here, y plus four, y plus four. So try to bring y plus four outside. Remain y inside minus one equals to what? Zero. So from here we can have y so equals to plus four equals to zero or y minus one equals to zero. So you try to make y the solid formula here. You try to make y the solid formula here. So we have our y to be equal to minus 4 or y to be equal to 1. So now don't forget that we are not looking for the value of y. So because from the question given to us, what we are looking for, the variable given to us from this is what? Is x. Is what? Is x. Therefore, our solution is not what is not yet solved. So from there, we are going to from there, we are going to start by recalling that from here we've already said or uh, we've already said three to power x to be what to be y. So therefore, now go back. We go back. Recall that theory to power x equals to y. So from here, gotten the values of y here. So the first value of y, let me take the positive value first. So when y equals to 1, therefore we have, we just substitute the value of y here, we have theory x equals to 1. And from here, this has taken us back to, has taken us back to, uh, 
uh, uh, exponential equation leading to what? Leading to one uh, value. That is, you get the value of x to be what? To be 1 to be 1. So now from here, what do you do here? You will try to write this one as what? As base 3. So if you want to write this one as base 3, you have 3 to power x equals to 3 to what? To power 0. Now you can see, the power 3 to power 0 will still give us what 1 because from the law of indices, any number raised to power 1 give us what? Give us any number raised to power 0 give us what? Give us 1. So now, that's what we have from here. Since the bases are equal, automatically our exponents will also be what? Will also be equal. So we have x to be equals to what? x to be equals to 0. We have x to be equals to what? To, be x, to x to be equals to 0. And when y equals to minus 4, then we have 3 to power x equals to minus 4. So the second value of x is what is invalid that is no solution for this because we don't have negative base so that is the reason why this one is what is invalid that is no solution therefore the possible value of y is what is just x equals to zero it's just x equals to zero so from here since we got the possible value of x to be 0, so we now want to check whether the possible value of x we got is what? Is true for this equation given to us. So now we want to check. Check. So write down the equation given to you plus 3 x plus 2 equals to 12. So we want to check whether the left hand side will be, open, will be equal to right hand side when you put the value of x back to this equation. So let's do it together. We have 3, 2, 0 plus 1 plus 3 to power 0 plus 2 equals to 12. So from there we have 3. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 plus 3. 0 plus 2 we have what? We have 2 equals to what? Equals to 12. So from here, 3, we have 3 raised to power what? Power 1 plus 3 raised to power 2 equals to what? Equals to 12. 2 raised to power 1 is 1. We have 3 raised to power 1 is 3 plus 3 raised to power 2 is 9 equals to 12. So 3 plus 9 is 12 equals to 12. Therefore, our answer is very correct because LHS is equals to RHS. That is, left hand side is equal to right hand side. So that is how we solve exponential equation leading to quadratic equations. So this is where we are going to stop for today. So if you have any question pertaining to what we have here, so please and please drop your question there and the comment or the comment box there to try to, to ask me any questions if you want. So in the next video so we'll be likely to solve or to explain more concerning this. Thank you.